Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new playthrough of Until Dawn. I know this game's been out for a, a good few years now, but I thought I might as well play it, get it on the channel and it's up and running because it is the same creators as the um, Dark Pictures anthology that I've uh, played and it's all them three are on the channel and the new game of the Dark Pictures is coming out this year as well. So I thought I'll just play Until Dawn because it's exactly the same, like, well, I won't say exactly the same game. Uh, but it's the same uh, mechanics, game mechanics, where you just um, do quick time events and it's like more story driven than anything else. So yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy. Let's crack on. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Uh, just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. this weekend Josh here we are excuse me here we are anyway until dawn tutorial right stick look around objects so it's just basically exactly the same I haven't really played heavy rain as well and beyond two souls is sim similar what's this Hannah you look so damn hot in that suit, not a shirt, my Oh my god, what did our naive sister get herself into now? Yeah, just sit back, relax and enjoy the game. This. Whiskey, is it? Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um. I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. 
Use the right stick to choose. Where are we going? Uh, we'll find the others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerk! Her. You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press the action. Here we go. Oh, Quick time action, guys. Where? Jump. Yes. We're professionals at this game. Uh, we'll do a safe one. Because she'll end up bloody jumping off them, breaking her ankle last one. No, now we'll look. Follow footprints. What's that? Use a touchpad is showing. We've got a mobile phone. Enough. Hannah. I don't really think a mobile phone will light a way up like this, would it? Or would it? Because that's just like a pure torch. Yeah, fair enough when it's in a smallest room, but not like a freaking forest. <laughs> well. Walk faster. No one left, right. Hello? Hello? This? This is one of them visions. No. Death totem. <laughs> yeah, the other one, uh, the dark pictures, when you pick up a picture, it's um, it tells you like the future events of what could happen to a person. So clearly he's the last going to fall and die. I don't know if it's Hannah, I don't know if it's this character here. What the hell? What the hell was that? The dragon. There's someone there, isn't there? Hannah! Hannah! Hello? Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Hold on! Hold 
Eso. Are they dead? Fair enough. <laughs> well, there's two characters gone. The analyst. Oh, is it the same guy? Before we begin, that is. there ah. are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Good. Yeah. I too. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It makes me happy. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? It's peaceful. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Yeah, it would. Apart from the scarecrow. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? I wouldn't care. Uh, a level headed response. <laughs> but everyone is frightened of something. Uh, I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really do. Okay. Sorry, we're out of time. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Well, this is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington.
Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> Sam. Anna's best friend. Hello? Hello. Someone there? Path to the cable car station, okay. Let's see if we can walk a bit. It move camera, but it doesn't really move it that much, does it really? So they'll come out of here and there's like a, a serial killer. Right, what's this note? The gate's busted. Wow, what? Climb over. <sighs> Damn it. Um. Can climb this way? We'll do the safe route. <sighs> Forgot about the quick times then. <laughs> uh, climb. This is it. Is it my controller, the motion sensor controller? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Cutie. I was ready to do like the touchpad. Press R1. Head to the cable car. The thing is, you can't really get lost because this is like a full-on linear path and story-driven with quick-time events. <laughs> cool. Okay. Oh, another one of these things.
But this is going to like show us like a death again. Or whatever that was. <laughs> over here. The bag over here. Chris? The bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Maybe I shouldn't look around Chris's stuff. We're going to try and play this game as like Sam, hey, you made it. respectfully. He has a crush on Ashley. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Gonna blow your mind and then you'll probably end up getting killed. <laughs> Ta da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> Alright. Here goes. Are we shooting? Call of Duty comes into play now. Boosh! Boosh! Yeah! Oof. Absolute pros, look at that. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, no, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Oh, man, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Press R1 for clues. I've never really, um... Victor. Okay. If anyone's called Victor, then we'll, uh, grass on him. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I don't know. You said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. What's going up here? That. And I thought the car was closer. Blackwood Pines Hotel. Guess we gotta wait. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Computers. Huh? 
a bit of CCTV there on the uh, old house. I presume that's the house what we were in at the start of the game. Nothing else in here apart from that. There we go. Stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Mm -hmm. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap-snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends. To this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. There's Jess. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, Jessica. Time to meet and greet. Oh, there. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Yeah, but, uh, we'll explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Emily? Mike's ex? I don't think it would have been like as pretty as Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, 
We are like back at the start again. We have to go back to the <laughs> cable car. Oh, that's the the shit. Jesus! Mike, this guy here, he's from. Um, I don't know if you've watched it all. Marvel's Avengers or Marvel's Agents of Shield. He you played the uh, character Michael. in there. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Welcome. <laughs> Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, what the hell? Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Seems a bit freaking loopy, oh, doesn't he? What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Okay, okay. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. I wonder if the phone's down there still, because that's where the phone dropped, isn't it? When they were running away from that block. I assume that's the same bridge. Oh. Ashley has a crush on Chris. Bit of a weird uh, thing. What, what are we looking for? Somebody's getting a little friendly, and not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh, she clearly still likes <laughs> shit to know. Oh, nice. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, well. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. No. Yeah, take a look. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, oh, son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. But everyone seems to be sl like split up. Let me check the phone. Oh, we've got no signal anywhere. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. 
But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Thing! Crap. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh, wow. Hey! Oh, snap! Oh, there's that bird. Remember that, didn't we? Hello? Come on. Hey, Mike! Oh, you got me. Oh, you got me. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. No, we're not going to shy out of the bed. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah! <laughs> oh ho, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah? But you'll have to wait. Until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Gerbil cat. Someone else is coming in. Is it Emily? Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Men worry me. Don't really know or understand what this is. <laughs> um, I say crowds scare me. Swipe again. There we go. Oh, drown. Is that drowning? Yeah, I would hate to drown me. Be awful. Snakes or rats? I say rats scare me. They do actually in real life. Not scare me, but. Just horrible little pieces of vermin. Guns are a knife. A gun. I would say guns are score both of them, aren't they, really? Ooh. Uh, rats scare me. I fear cockroaches. Clowns. Sounds weird. I'll say scarecrows. Scarecrows are strange. Crow. What the hell's that? Gore and crow. I'll say gore. Oh. 
Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Spiders, yep. Definitely. Real life. I don't fear needles in real life. I don't know if this is what hell this is supposed to do. <laughs> Ooh. I also zombies scare you, but in real life, it's possibly easy to get rid of a zombie. I don't fear dogs, even though that looks like a bloody wolf. There's a lot of gore. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. Spiders, zombies, and awful. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon.